eye-popping amount of 35,000 crore rupees have been transferred to the RBI by the PSU banks in February. These were deposits lying unclaimed with the public sector banks for the past 10 years. The deposits belong to 102 million accounts. SBI tops the list with 8,086 crore rupees of unclaimed deposits, followed by Punjab National Bank with unclaimed deposits of 5,340 crore rupees. Canara Bank has transferred deposits of 4,558 crore rupees, while Bank of Baroda has transferred 3,904 crore rupees to the RBI. So, can these deposits be reclaimed? And if yes, what is the procedure? Tina Jain Koshal, editor of Money Today, joins us in decoding the process. Tina, take it away. If a bank account remains inactive for 10 years, money gets transferred to the RBI's Depositor Education and Awareness Fund every month. The important point to note here is the unclaimed money earns interest at rates specified by the RBI and not at the rate at which the deposit was made. Now, if you want to find out if you have any unclaimed money, then the process is not very complicated as according to RBI regulations, every bank needs to display details of unclaimed accounts on their website. You just need to type the name of the person along with other details such as an address, PIN code or phone number to find out if any unclaimed amount is lying with the bank. If the name exists on the list, then to claim the funds, you need to contact the home branch and fill out a claim form, provide deposit receipt and furnish KYC documents. In case you are a legal heir or a nominee, a copy of the account holder's death certificate is also needed to be provided to the bank. The bank will then verify the authenticity of the claim, releasing the payment. Once the bank has paid the customer, it will submit a claim to the RBI at the end of the month to receive a refund from the DEF account. So if you have any unclaimed money, take the first step by checking the details on the website of the bank. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.